Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Josh and today we're going to talk about a very important topic that's going to bless you guys and benefit your life. Today we're going to talk about making the dash count. That's right, making the dash count. Each and every one of us have a dash between the day we were born and the day we die. The sad thing about our life is many people are not taking advantage of that dash. Many people's dashes are not even engrafted in history. Right now, what are you doing with your life right now? Are you utilizing that dash, that middle between your birth and your death to really capitalize and to ensure that your life means something? Not just means something for you, but means something for those people connected to you. There's three things you have to understand when it comes to making that dash count. That's your past, that's your purpose, and that's your potential. Let's talk about your past. Your past, like I said in my previous video, is a resume. It is only a storyline that's propelling you to tell your story to reach others. Your past is monumental. In order to make that dash count, in order to make that dash beneficial, you got to make sure your past is in that story. Many people are afraid to tell their story. They're afraid to tell their testimony. They try to overshadow the test that made them who they are. They rather show their blessings, not their burdens. They rather show what they've gotten now versus where they've been brought from. And when a person gets so consumed with covering up their past, they become non-effective because every Everybody has suffered from pain. Everybody has gone through something. And so when you only present perfection, you cannot reach no one because there was only one perfect man that reached imperfection and that was Christ. So when you get so caught up on showing the, 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 the adornments, showing the, the outside, but the inside, you don't want to show the wounds the wounds leads people to wisdom. Your last great moment of teaching is from your previous wound, your most closest wound. So your past is what's gonna make that dash count because your past is gonna reflect your purpose. Your purpose is direct correlation with your past. If you look backwards, you can see forward. Because when you look backwards, you can see the people you're supposed to reach. Moses didn't know that he was going to be brought up in Egypt to only come back to reach those still bound in Egypt. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, that place she was brought up in, that past, full, that past experience, that painful experience, that is God writing your credentials to reach the people that need to know the Christ. And so you got to be able to understand, in order for me to know my purpose, in order for me to know what I'm purposed to do, I got to look backwards. But there's another piece you got to understand. You got to know your potential. Many people, the ceiling is the cap. It's so sad that people are limited by what they see. Walk by faith, not by sight. The ceiling is huge. I'd rather shoot for the stars and land in the clouds than to shoot for my ceiling and end up nowhere. Right now, you got to go and ask yourself, how far can I go? Ask yourself, how far do you want to go? In order to make that dash count for someone, you got to know your limits. But you can't know your path, or you cannot change your perspective of your path. And you will never know your purpose. And you will never know your potential until you know the person of God. God has all of those in himself. When you seek him and you pursue him, that dash will become monumental. Jesus lived 33 years and was unknown for 30 of them. And look what he did in three. What could your life produce right now? I'm not saying all of you guys is gonna be famous and well-known, but what I'm saying is you can be famous to your daughter, you can be well-known to your son, you can be a monumental male and female, a woman figure in your community. You can change someone else's perspective. Because when you change someone else's perspective, they change their perspective on their past and they begin to find their purpose and they begin to tap, not into partial, not into some, but into their full potential. At the bottom of this video is a worksheet. I want you guys to process those three P's, your past, your purpose, and your potential. I want you guys to ask yourself certain questions to help you discover how your past can be used as a resume to propel you into your purpose. And when you find your purpose, don't think small with a big God. Do not think small with a God who's still letting the universe be and sustained by let there be. Think big, live big, dream big, because you serve a big God. And God is always going to give you something bigger than you can handle because God gives you big things so he can incorporate himself. If you can do it on your own, your dream is too small. Until next time, keep prepping.